All right, this is video number two for solving projectile problems. I'm going to jump right in. Feel free to pause this and try and solve it if you want to see how well you're doing already. Uh, a puck slides off a 1.2 meter tall table and lands on the floor 1.7 meters away from the table. How fast was the puck moving when it left the table? So here is the table, and then here is the floor, and here is the puck. Now, the puck slides off a tall table. Tables, I should mention, are flat, and so the initial velocity is going to be in that direction. And then once it starts to fall, it's going to fall in the shape of a parabola. So this is just the uh, right half of, an ups of a downward-facing parabola. Um, this right here is going to be the vertical displacement. And then this right here is going to be the horizontal displacement. So that's my picture. As far as the x and y variables are concerned, I'm going to start to fill those in right away. Delta x, it says it lands on the floor 1.7 meters away from the table. So 1.7 meters is my delta x. Uh, it also says that it slides off a table that's 1.2 meters tall. Well, if it goes from the top of the table and lands on the ground, then that means it goes down by 1.2 meters. So delta y is negative 1.2 meters. I'm just going to say this now. If you uh, latch onto the reference frames lesson earlier in the unit, then you might want to uh, investigate this problem and see how you could shift your frame of reference and maybe make the problem easier for you. Okay, so those are the displacements. Uh, next variable up is vx. I don't know that. After that's time. Uh, in the y direction, it's v, y naught, and this is a very important start starting point to this problem. The vertical velocity of this puck at the beginning of its motion is zero, and that's the key to this problem. Uh, because when something slides off a table, unless you're told that the table is tilted in some direction, uh, the vertical velocity is zero. It's only moving in the horizontal direction. The acceleration is negative g, so negative, let's just use negative 10 for this, just to see how it goes. And then time, I don't know. Uh, I'm not asked how fast it's going at the end of its trajectory, so I'm not going to put in vy. Uh, again, time to make a plan. Uh, how fast was the puck moving? I need to find Vx. In order to find Vx, I'm going to need time first. So I'm going to find time. And then I'm going to find um, the velocity. So to find time, this these problems so far uh, have focused on the same equation. Um, it's not always this one that you start with, but the problems I made up, you do. The initial vertical velocity was zero, so I can cancel that term right away. And I have a delta y is negative 1.2 equals 1 half times negative 10 times time squared. Using 10 for g makes your math much easier. Um, and that's they do that on purpose for the AP exam, so you actually have to use your calculator less because you can think through some of the mental math more easily. So I'm left with negative 1.2 equals negative 5t squared. Um, so I'll let you work through the algebra yourself. Um, but the time is 0.49 seconds. Okay. Now I'm going to find Vx. So this problem ends in a very similar way that the other one ended, and just using this horizontal motion equation to find time. Um, again, it doesn't always go like that, but we analyze each dimension separately, um, and that makes our lives much easier. So the displacement in the horizontal direction is 1.7 meters. That equals Vx times 0.49 seconds. And so Vx equals uh, 3.47 meters per second. 
Um, it just says how fast, so that's you can think that as, as speed. Uh, it's moving in the forward direction, but we just have a speed of 3.47 or 3.5 meters per second. And that's it. I'll do one more video with another problem, um, and that should do it.